Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Anshul Kumar. I love sharing productivity tips, reviewing awesome apps, and helping you lead a stress-free, fulfilling life. So let's dive in. Today, I'm excited to share a productivity system that's helped me organize my life, improve my workflow, and also remember more of what I learned. It's a system that has clarified my digital life, and I'm confident it can help you too. We live in a world where technology is advancing at lightning speed. Thousands of new apps pop up each year. AI chatbots are revolutionizing our future, and we consume more information than ever. But here's the catch. With all this information, how do we make sense of it? How do we track our ideas? And what makes the most productive people tick? I've been leaning into this lately, figuring out the best way to remember what matters. It all started with a simple question. How can I improve my memory? My memory has always been a bit slow as I'm getting to my age. Well, not great. I forget names, misplace things, and sometimes lose my car keys three times a week. So I needed a better system. After diving deep into productivity experts' advice, I stumbled upon one outstanding approach. Tiago Forte's Building a Second Brain. Tiago's system is about creating a second brain, a digital database to organize your life. It's not note-taking strategy that's more than just jotting down a quick class note or a meeting recap. It's about creating a lifelong treasury of knowledge. Tiago uses a structured called PARA, P-A-R-A, which stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archives. So I decided to apply Tiago's para framework to my own notes. And let me tell you, it's been a game changer. So here's how it works. This is where I store notes for things I'm actively working on. My YouTube videos, editing courses, and personal projects like renovating my kitchen. Projects are a specific short-term efforts that you actively work on with a goal in mind, such as completing a website or even renovating your kitchen. Areas are the larger ongoing areas of responsibility, like health, finances, and so on. This encompasses those specific projects. These are areas of responsibility, like taxes, cooking, and even health. Resources include content on a range of topics you are interested in or that could be useful for your projects in areas. This is a place for book notes, inspiration, and anything valuable I pick up along the way. Archives include anything from the previous three categories that is now inactive, but you want to save for future reference. These are old projects and notes that are no longer needed, but might come in handy someday. So after 48 hours of organizing my 2000 plus notes into this system, I could finally breathe. My notes were organized, searchable, and no longer a chaotic mess. While the note-taking app is the core of the second brain, a few other tools make the system even better. Readwise is a tool that connects to my Kindle and automatically imports all my highlights from any book I read. It even integrates with other apps like Apple Notes. Readwise is a software that functions as a link between your highlights and your note-taking app. So you start by making a highlight, let's say on your Kindle, and Readwise takes that highlight, throws it into their database, and then throws it into any of the supported note-taking apps. I'll leave a link to my Readwise tutorial video in the description that I did a few years ago. Do check it out. Read Later app lets me save articles, tweets, and videos for later while formatting them in a distraction-free way. Readwise is designed for powerful readers with a focus on information processing. It is similar to popular apps you may have heard of, such as Pocket, Instapaper, Flipboard, and so on but this is way better. These tools have helped me organize my ideas, keep track of crucial information, and bring structure to my projects and to my life. 
So friends, if you want to build your second brain and organize your digital life, start simple. Use Tiago's para framework and gradually expand from there. Remember, the goal is to organize your notes in a way that supports your life, not just to have a fancy system. So stick to the basics, find what works for you and do the work. I'll provide a few links to the apps I've mentioned, including Tiago's book. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more profound productivity and self-development dives. Drop a comment below with your favorite productivity tool or system. Until next time, stay productive.